Howdy. <laughs> For those who don't know me, I am Josh, but most people call me the better half, the taller twin, or sometimes Joey. <laughs> so Joey and I met at a very young age, uh, or so I thought. A couple of weeks ago, Joey told me, Josh, we've never met. And I said, what? He was like, think about it. Our whole lives, we have never been introduced. <laughs> so we shook hands that day and officially met. <laughs> and that's just an average conversation with Joey. <laughs> Despite not meeting each other until recently, Joey and I had a pretty exciting childhood together. <laughs> we spent our youth competing against each other in anything and everything. Sports, school, stunning good looks, you name it. I beat him in everything, of course. And even lasted longer in the womb than him. Best hour in two minutes of my life, by the way. When we were 14, I let him grow taller than me, just to tease him. <laughs> but I guess he did beat me to getting married, so there's one point for him. So most of you may think of Joey as a well put together man who stays out of trouble. Allow me to inform you that he almost didn't walk at high school graduation because of a class video that showed him trespassing, damaging school property, and indecent exposure. <laughs> if anyone is interested in seeing that video, let me know. <laughs> I really admire Joey and his many characteristics. Um, the one that stands out to me is his leadership. God has entrusted him with leadership positions in ROTC and the Summit College Ministry that reflect to me his humble and passionate character. I think we can all agree that Sammy and the Air Force have found a good one. <laughs> Not very many people can relate to the special bond that Joey and I have being identical twins. It certainly comes with challenges, but I can't imagine not growing up alongside Joey. We did everything together to the point where we are desperate to do anything apart from the other. <laughs> I've always felt like I could go to him with anything, could always trust that he has my back no matter what. Ephesians 5 gives us insight on God's design for marriage. Paul says in verses 31 and 32, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. I'm confident that Joey and Sammy will model this relationship of Christ and the church well w through their marriage. I know that the Lord has sovereignly brought them together for his glory, and I can't wait to see how they honor him with their sacred union. Thank you, Joey, for being my womb mate <laughs> and for showing me that canned green beans are the best snack. Here's to Joey and Sammy. Yeah. <laughs>